It's Razor Popla. Korean boy bands are hot, but who's the hottest among them? Shiny and Yukis and Beast. Super Junior is the best. Super Junior is known for them. Many members, their variety. Yukis, they're so friendly and they've got, you know, members who can speak English. Beast, well, they're just a, they're a stage of their own. As for girl bands, which are the hottest ones? Uh, I, mean, yeah. I would say... Girls Generation. Mm-hmm. Definitely, mm-hmm. Girls Generation. They have had such a big hit, you know, mm-hmm. that hit G. And also because of their image, you know, it's, it's very sweet, it's very innocent, and yet there's this sexiness. Previously, they have this hit song like So Wan Le Maleba, it says Tell Your Wish. That song, they had this navy look really short shorts and um, the moves that you know um, highlighted you know their long slender legs you know that look really good in MV so it appeals to both girls and boys alike come here boy wonder girls um, i think they are like in between yeah, in mm-hmm. because they've been away for quite a while yes they are focused in the US market to the korean audience is like outside Oh, of my mm-hmm. um, Tiara is coming up very strong. <laughs> and also after school. They had this song that allows them to play the drums and fiddle with the instrument. Yeah, yeah cool. and they have this uniform. Yeah. Yeah. So it also um, for image wise is also very eye catching. Solo artists like Rain, Boa and Seven used to have magnetic appeal among K-pop listeners. But are they overshadowed by boy bands and girl groups now? Actually Rain he has recently released uh, some some new songs and it was also very popular. <laughs> But for solo artists wise, mm, mm, I think it's a little different from group. Because you know in a group right, you have different personalities. You know, you have like a bit of everything all in one. So it's very easy for groups to get more fans, you know, as per se. Because everyone maybe like different personalities and they can find everyone in the same group. There's a season actually. So they say that normally the male ballad singers come out around autumn season uh-huh. oh okay it's <laughs> yeah. that's why right now it's like oh. we had a long period of female young female groups singing mm. and dominating the charts because it's then summer it's summer, no? summer. Yeah. Oh. Yes. wow sounds like these korean acts are marketed like seasonal products it's not autumn in korea yet but if you're more into korean ballads lee has a few recommendations for you like cho song mo very famous for his love songs has been around for years, still going strong. Mm-hmm. And uh, Pek Jiyong, mm-hmm. Pek Jiyong, she survived this very big scandal okay. in the entertainment, Korean entertainment scene years ago, but she's also very strong, survivor. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and recently she had this hit in the uh, Iris uh, drama OST, it's called Itchi Marayo, Don't Forget. And that hit was, I felt mm-hmm. it was really, really good. She has this um, voice that really, you know, touches your heart. Well, K-pop acts never fail to impress their fans, but equally impressive are these devoted and dutiful K-pop enthusiasts. How fanatical can they be? Check out in the next clip.